93.9 WLVB. It is 819. Good morning. I'm Roland LaJoy on the second day of September. September Suicide Awareness and Prevention Month. And did you know that suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States? And we like to put a focus on that during this month of September. And we are glad to have with us again Monique Real from uh, Lamar County Mental Health Services. Well, nice to have you back with us again, Monique. Thank you, Roland. It's good to be back. Now, uh, of course, it's, it's not the greatest of subjects to talk about, uh, suicide, of course, but, uh, and I, I would think that during this, uh, during the way things are these days, I mean, you never hear good news anymore. Everything is in turmoil. And then, of course, now with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, now the COVID variant going on, a lot of people are, are pretty stressed right now, and uh, it's a stressful time for, for a lot of folks at this point. It has been. We've certainly been seeing more and more people who are really struggling with anxiety and depression, and along with that often comes thoughts about suicide. Right, and uh, at Lamar County Mental Health Services, they want to tell you today that you do have help. You do have a place where you can uh, get assistance. Absolutely. We want people to know you are not alone, and we are always here for you 24-7. What are the kinds of, uh, what are the kinds of services uh, that you uh, provide for folks uh, at Lamoille County Mental Health Services? So the first thing is that we do have a mobile crisis team that is available 24-7, and after hours, we're dispatched through Copley Hospital. So it's a really easy number for people to remember. It's all eight. So it's 888-8888, and any time you need to talk with someone, you need to check in, just so you know that you're not alone, we are there for you. Um, and then we also have other services available. We have a developmental services program, children and families program, and an adult program. So we provide services across the continuum. Um, whoever needs support, we have something available for you here. Right, and then there there are uh, symptoms that folks like uh, friends and neighbors of maybe some folks that are uh, that are struggling. There are those uh, symptoms and signs that folks should be looking out for and should not be afraid to actually uh, to act on them too. Because uh, a lot of folks say, "Well, you know, I don't want to butt in," but sometimes it takes a friend or a neighbor to uh, to to take that first step for people. That is very true. It's always good to check in with people if anyone is acting a little bit different than what they usually would act, someone's more isolated, seems more down, um, just not themselves, it's always good to check in and say, you know, are you okay? What can I do to help? How can I help? And to ask directly, are you thinking about hurting yourself? Are you thinking about suicide? And let me get you some help. That's not an easy thing to do, is it? It's not easy, but it's so important. And many people we have talked to have said the thing that was the hardest in their life, the thing they were missing the most, is feeling connected to people. And often people are actually relieved when someone directly asks the question because they really want to talk with somebody about it. They just don't know how. And so asking somebody directly, are you thinking about suicide, can actually give them permission to say, as a matter of fact, I have been thinking about it. And it opens the door to more conversation and to getting the person help. And we're, so, we're such a tight-knit community community as well. A lot of people are very close to other people, so you, folks should not be uh, hesitant uh, to uh, to make that, to take that first step. Now, uh, as a part of Suicide Awareness and Prevention Month, Lamont County Mental Health Services is uh, doing a, a movie presentation uh, and discussion later on in the month. So maybe just talk a little bit about that, Monique. Sure. So we are sponsoring the showing of a movie called The S Word, S Word being suicide. And it is a documentary film that was actually made by a survivor of a suicide attempt. And it talks about not being afraid to talk about that word, about suicide and the power of people who have survived attempts in being able to reach out to other people struggling with suicidal thoughts, and that there is um, a greater thing that happens from their pain and their uh, challenging experiences in their lives that they can share hope and strength with other people on that journey. Um, where The movie itself is actually available starting now, streaming online, 
Um, and the way you get access to the movie is by registering for a panel discussion event we're having at the end of the month. Um, so as soon as you register for the discussion, you get free access to watch the movie any time during the month of September. The movie itself is about an hour and a half, and we will be sponsoring a panel discussion that will also be for about an hour and a half. That will be happening on Tuesday, the 28th of September, starting at 5 p.m. Now, the discussion panel, is that going to be an online discussion, or is that going to be an in-person discussion? That, it was a really hard decision, but we did decide, because of the increase in um, COVID numbers in our area, to do this event virtually, so it will be online. Okay. So do, how do folks get access to, uh, how do folks, first of all, how, get, how do they get access to registering for, to, uh, to see the movie? So they can register online through our website, which is www.lamoyle.org, or they can call our office and be connected with Luciana, who is our coordinator for this event. Um, our office phone number Monday through Friday is 888-5026. Okay, and then while, and when you do that, you're registering for the... Uh, the panel discussion as well, which is on the 28th Correct. at 5 p.m. And I guess there's a link to get, since it's a uh, online discussion, I, I assume it's going to be a, a Zoom type of uh, discussion then, right? Yes, it will be by Zoom. And as soon as someone's registered, they will get the link to that event. Okay, and that is at 5 p.m. on the 28th, but you can watch, you can actually watch the movie and you know, get, uh, take notes and uh, have something to, you know, to questions maybe or discussion uh, uh, discussion um, items that you may want to talk about uh, and then jot them down and take notes if you want and then participate on the 28th at 5 p.m. Yes. Okay. And if for some reason um, people aren't available or able to attend that event, they can certainly contact me or other people at our agency if they just want more information um, if we are starting to get some requests from schools and from other agencies about providing some information, and we're always available to try and set that up for folks, too. We want to get the word out that it's okay to talk about suicide and it's important, and the person you're helping may be someone in your family or one of your neighbors. Okay, and, of course, you can find out more about the, everything by going to the uh, Lamoille County Mental Health Services website that will uh, give you all the information as well, which is simply lamoille.org. Perfect. All right, Monique Rio from Lamoille County Mental Health Services. Good catching up with you again, Monique, and we will uh, we'll talk again with you folks. All right, take care. Okay, thank you, Monique. Bye-bye. Right. Uh, Monique Real from Lamar County Mental Health Services. Again, to find out more about registering for the film, the S Word, and uh, the discussion that will follow on September 28th, again, go to lamoyle.org.